So hello <clears throat> and welcome to today's lesson. So today's lesson is going to be on finding argin values one given argin vectors. So please don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel for more videos and please like the video if it helps you. So this happens to be a very simple concept and after going through this concept okay we are going to use it to solve this particular question here so when we have a matrix a we know our a has to be a square matrix so an m by n matrix then this formula here holds so, our A times V is equal to lambda V, where A is our square matrix, the V is the eigenvector, and the lambda is the eigenvalue corresponding to our V. So, I hope you get this formula because this is going to be everything that we need to find for our eigenvalues when given eigenvectors. So, let's take an example. So this question here says, consider the following eigenvectors. So we have this V1, we have V2, and V3. So we have three eigenvectors of B, such that our B is given by this particular matrix. So the question says, we should find their corresponding eigenvalues, lambda 1, lambda 2, and lambda 3. And trust me, this is very, very simple. Okay, so let's start. So you realize that our lambda 1 given in the question, sorry, our V1, first again vector, given in the question is V1 equals 0, 1, 0 transpose. So this is the same as V1 equals, in terms of writing it in the column vector sense, 0, 1, 0. I hope you get it. All right, so... Recall that we said this formula is going to be very important in all our calculations. So, that means that B times V1, because V1 happens to be the first eigenvector, will be equal to lambda 1 V1, where lambda 1 is the corresponding, eigenvector, um, corresponding eigenvalue to the eigenvector V1. And that's what we are coming to find here. So you realize that this is our B from the question, and this is our V1, right? So B times V1 is equal to lambda 1 times our V1 here. So when we do this matrix vector multiplication, it is going to give us 0, 7, 0. Then it will be equal to everything at the right-hand side. So you realize that we want this here to look like this right or we want this here to look like this so the only way we can do that is to bring 7 out so when you bring 7 out we are going to get 0 1 0 recall remember that um or note that if you multiply the 7 through you are still going to get what is here so when you bring our 7 out you are going to get 7 out 0 1 0 to be equal to lambda 1 0 1 0 so making comparisons with the left hand side and the right hand side, then we can see that our lambda 1 here is equal to 7. So that means that the eigenvalue corresponding to the first eigenvector is lambda 1 equals 7. Then, when we have our second eigenvector, so we are going to use this formula. I hope you know that. So we've stated it several times. So this is our B and this is our V2, our second eigenvector. So it's equal to lambda 2 and our V2 here. So the only thing we have to do is to make this matrix vector multiplication, which is going to give us 880. And this will be equal to lambda 2, 1, 1, 0. So with the same thing, when we make comparisons, that means we won't have to make sure we put this inside this form. 
So the only thing to do that is to bring it out of our vector at the left hand side. So doing that means you're going to get eight out one one zero we call to lambda to one one zero. So by simple comparisons, then we can say that our second argument value or the argument value corresponding to the second argument vector is eight. So that's what we can find here. To realize this is very simple, right? So let's find the third one and we'll be done. So with the third one, we have this as our third argument vector. All right, so we call this formula, which we are very familiar with now. So our B matrix is what we find here. This is our V3 and lambda 3 times our V3. So the only thing to do is to do this matrix vector multiplication. And that is going to give us 0, 3, negative 3 will be equal to the right hand side as we can see here. So we want to make sure they are similar. Okay, so the only way to do that is to bring 3 out in the left hand side equation. So the left hand side. So bringing 3 out is going to give us 0, 1, negative 1. <clears throat> and this will be equal to lambda 3, 0, 1, negative 1. So by simple comparison, then it means that the third argument value or the argument value corresponding to the third argument vector is 3. So that means hence the argument values are lambda 1 equals 7, lambda 2 equals 8, and lambda 3 equals 3. So note that with this concept, we learned how to find the argument values when the argument vectors are given. So in a case where argument vectors are not given, we use the formula determinant of, which we would have used the formula, the determinant of B minus lambda I equals zero. And when we solve this, we will get a characteristic equation. And the characteristic equation is going to be a cubic polynomial. So that means the highest power is going to be power 3. So you get something like lambda power 3. And that is always given by lambda minus, is it? Lambda cube minus lambda cube plus the trace of a lambda squared minus the principal minor of a lambda then plus determinant of a equals zero. So this is always our the form of our characteristic um, polynomial. And you don't even have to know this if you can just solve this equation here. And when you get a characteristic equation, which is going to be cubic because you have a three by three, since I'll be a three by three, then you solve that cubic polynomial and that will give us our lambda one to be equally seven, our lambda two to be eight, and our lambda 3 to be 3 and from there we can find the corresponding argument vectors so thank you very much don't forget to like the video and please subscribe to our youtube channel thank you all the best